Hey, orange one here. So, uh, this is probably a little bit weird. I know I do this a fair amount, probably, in this series, but, uh, we're no longer at war. <laughs> I don't know, it seems to me that this game, you go to war really quick and then all of a sudden you're not at war. We were way over here last time you guys were with us and we were, like, fighting over in Fight Kaon. We were briefly governor, um, and then now I've come back here. I, I did a little bit of trading. Um, leveled up my trading a little bit, leveled up a couple other things as well, like my bows, um, I got leveled up, uh, the trade, I haven't gotten to the next level quite yet, but I think if I actively try and trade in this episode, which <clears throat> I will do, then we'll be, we'll be golden. Now, I also want to do a ton of questing here because we do have our castle right there. I want to kind of build some relationship up with these guys. I'm going to try and, um, I've looked at these quests a little bit. I'm going to try and kind of play both sides, um, with these gangs and, uh, kind of same thing with the Lords and try and get all, as many quests done as I can get as many, I mean, not so much the, um, cash isn't important, but the renown is kind of nice. Yeah. 29 one handed. I can do that for you. Definitely. We could probably just like straight up buy that, um, rival gang is moving in. <laughs> I'm going to also do that. I think it's going to be against the guy that, um... I could leave a companion to do that, honestly. Yeah, it's actually... Let's leave Olin. And I'm going to leave you with, like, some good troops. Uh, not the wounded one, though. That's kind of weird that the game would just put that person in there. Um, I'm going to give you, uh, some thugs, because I think... Um, those do well in these types of, of things. Oh, could I also transfer you over? No, I can't. That would have been funny if I could. Um, I just kind of want to make sure it's someone who would have, like, an appropriate weapon for what they're going to be doing. And looters are not great, but there we go, Master Thugs. That's what I'm looking for. Um, yeah, that should be a pretty solid thing for what they're doing. Okay, so that quest is being resolved by my companion. Um, then there's an army of poachers, which I am gonna go resolve and go fight. Definitely gonna do that, get us some combat experience. I mean, I am also, we could try and do the, the... Um, dialogue thing and try and level up our charm. Escort caravan I will do, but I'm gonna do that after maybe getting this lined up as well. Yeah, so there's just a ton of quests at this place. Uh, 43 uh, delivers units of hardwood to Koyaz. Maybe I should go do that and then come back and do that escort caravan mission. Uh... Well, I don't think we want to be a criminal so much anymore. I'm going to say that you can take the goods, and it's going to actually boost my relationship with you, and that would actually boost it in the long term as well, given that I'm also going to escort your caravan for you. Uh, so the poachers, where are the poachers? They're over here. So we'll go over here. I know it's kind of a lot to kind of take in. You might want to rewatch what we just did there. It's kind of a crazy thing. Uh, we could maybe take on training these guys as well. Yeah, we'll do that. We will. Yep. I'll, uh, I'll train them. Now, uh, we don't really need to recruit that dude. I'm not going to actually recruit him. I am going to buy some stuff. Anything that's like this green color like that i'm going to be buying a lot of and then trying to sell it later for a profit i've kind of figured out how the trade and the colors and all that stuff works it's um it's not super complicated but it's it does take a little bit of getting used to so it's night so um i think 
No, we want the relationship with the Lord, so we're gonna uh, kill the poachers. I was considering raising our charm, but I think what matters more to Rodan right now is local connections. Like Rodan, he's a businessman. He knows this. He knows it's all about the business connections. And these poachers, sure, they are not the worst people to be in connections with, but the um, powerful people in a city. No, those those are the people you really want to know in this in this situation, at least. Um, I can take. Oh, I can. Yeah, take a couple hits myself, so it's not too concerning when they they hit me. And we do have like four times as many people as them, so there's that as well going for us. There we go. <laughs> Little do they know, this is where I thrive. Like, in all seriousness, this is, as you guys know, where I, uh, I get a lot of my archery experience. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, they, you guys have earned your freedom. Okay, cool. Alright, so that's done. The poacher quest is done. Um, I will take you guys prisoners. Maybe I'll get some poacher recruits. Um, I will also take all that stuff. Cool. And look at how much that dude likes me now. I mean, by betraying the other dude and then doing his quest, we got pretty good uh, relations with him. Um, I probably want to escort caravan and let's just have a look at how far how we're doing on the um let's see so we need 19 more one-handed weapons i bet i could just buy those here i honestly could um yeah i mean look at how trash some of these these uh one-handed swords are um is that's a dagger not gonna work as a dagger. I don't think daggers work. I'm gonna buy one and just see. No, that did not work. I need one-handed swords. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. It's it's always one-handed swords. I mean, that's kind of like the item that you can use in like street fights, right? So, kind of makes sense. Um, where are the swords at? Here's a couple. I think these are the cheapest swords that I'm seeing. No, there's a couple. There's there we go. That's that's pretty cheap. We'll take all seven of those. And I think we needed like okay, this is 18. I think we need one more. And then do I have enough? Yes, I do. Okay. So let's go to this dude. I know that we could have collected them from like looters and I don't know other random things, but I just kind of wanted to get this done. Yep. Now that dude's gonna be pretty happy with me. And look how yeah, they, we've got some good relations with these dudes. We could also just hang out in town, and that ups your relationships with them as well. Um, I think we're gonna do the escort merchant caravan, mostly for the relation. It's not really for um, you know, the money. Or anything. It's just so um, this dude is like my homie. Um, so where is that caravan? I'll just wait a little bit. Is it this one? I think, uh, yeah. It's the... Yeah. Okay, so we just need to like hang around these dudes. I mean, I've got, like, such a huge army. Like, anyone who tried to attack this caravan is just going to get wiped. It's, like, kind of hilarious. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do to um, make friends, right? These looters. Oh, man. Hello. Am I going to seriously catch 19 looters? I'm, I think I might do it. That is so funny. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I guess that's that's good for us. I mean, we've got a little bit of experience. We've got some cheese. I don't know if I would eat that cheese. Like, bandit cheese? Looter cheese? You know? It's like some pretty gross stuff. Like, you know it's like... 
definitely not been refrigerated and it could be like pretty old wait what you're where oh, okay you're going jack to jacqueline that's actually not too far from here um i am going to like i said earlier get some goods on the cheap um that is super cheap that is awesome can i sell you anything no i can't sell anything at a good rate there um i kind of want to and we're probably not going to be able to sell anything that i'm buying right now here at jacqueline for a good price but i'll probably be able to sell it for a pretty decent price wherever we end up going um like these olives that's a pretty good price on them um and i could actually sell the grain here for a little bit of a profit um do I want to do that? I mean, the flax, actually, and the silver ore. I think I need to sell those here. Okay, this is... Yeah, this is going to be a good day. So I'm going to do that. And here's the weird thing about trade is that you want to make the profit. It's all about profit. So I want to sell this grain. And because I'm at a village, I can just sell it and get, like, a ton of it sold at a really nice price. I'm going to get rid of all my flax. I'm going to do like all of the silver ore but one um oh no they don't have money okay never mind i can't do that how much money do they have they got two thousand um i'm gonna get rid of the grain because this is a pretty amazing price for grain um like yeah like that cool i don't think we got like enough experience there to get a level up but yeah, i did go up a little bit i think I've forgotten the exact number it was at, but it was like, it at least went up by like a hundred there. Let's have a look at selling stuff in here. Just, I'm just curious. Yeah, I can sell the flax here for a good profit. Let's do that. We'll sell the flax and that silver is, uh, so like you see how it's changing color. It's like, hey, you're making a lot of money. And then here it's like, oh, your profit's starting to go away. So don't sell anymore, basically. Uh, that wool, eh, not the best price. And the sheep, I don't know how good of a price that is. The beer is not that good of a price, though. Uh, that's an okay price. The same, same with the fish. You know what? I'm going to make that. And look, we just got some trade experience there. Um, and then we're going to buy ourselves some fish. That is such a good deal for fish. And honestly, the olives is pretty good as well. So we'll just buy all of that. And then let's go... Yeah, I think the reason I wasn't leveling up quite as fast in the past was um, I was buying and selling at the same time, and you actually have to do it two separate times. It's like really... It's not a good mechanic. It's pretty silly and dumb. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, let's go ahead and leave. Yeah, with the... Um, the capacity that I have for inventory right now. Like, I can carry so much stuff. It's just insane. And so when I see, like, a good price on things, just buying it is not a big deal. It does slow us down a little bit, so I wouldn't really want to be doing this, like, quite as insanely as I am right now. If it was, like, a... I don't know. That is a good deal for the grapes, though. Yeah, it's a super good deal. Butter is not that good of a deal. It says it is, because I can sell it other paces for money, but if you look here, this is its comparison to the actual average. So it's saying I could make a profit, but I know in reality that... Although I could technically make a profit, it's probably not the best deal. You know? And then here I can buy fish. Oh, so dang cheap. Uh, that silver ore, I'm still making a profit a little bit there, but not a whole lot. Oh, man. That fish, I, I need to buy that fish. That's, like, seriously a crazy price for fish. I feel dumb for buying that fish at the other price now. Uh, I've gone over capacity with fish. Okay, we're going to just load up on fish. And... If we uh wait hold on what where is it it's under attack where i don't i don't see the enemy oh there's there's a lot of them 
came out of nowhere. Just give me a second to hold on. I just want to make sure everyone's leveled up. I am I am going to defend you. Do not worry, friend. It's so weird how that mob just jumps out of nowhere. I, I see that now. I think someone put a comment about that. Sergeants, take command! And I didn't really understand it at the time, so I don't know if I responded in a way that made sense, but no, I, I see it now. There's just like this random mob that just is outside the city. They're a pretty big mob too. I wish my um, cavalry archers weren't about to get shot to death. Let's see how they fare. I think they're about to get nailed. Yeah, how are you guys doing? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know about us uh, charging in there with you all. On my yeah, come with me, guys. That was pretty silly of you. Let's just get away from them. And you can harass them, I guess. That's that's fine. But oh, look! One of us got a bushwhacker. I suppose I could be doing the same, honestly. At the range that we're at, like, they're not going to be able to get me, but given my horse's extra speed, I could probably get a shot off in their direction. Oh, could have, could have, but. Oh no. Then one of them got me there. Okay, that's, that's just kind of. I don't know what, what's going on with my captains here. I'm being dumb. Oh, did I not tell him to follow sergeants? That's me being an idiot. Um. Horse archers! Stay close! Yeah, you guys, I do want you not charging in, because now you're starting to get killed. Yeah, no, this isn't good. Fall back. <laughs> Come back here. Uh, what's... who's getting killed? Are they hitting my dudes now? Yeah, they're starting to shoot my dudes. Maybe we should get the cavalry. Infantry! After me! Cavalry, follow me! Yeah, cavalry, come over here. I just need you guys getting on them. Wow, they are just... Holy cow, they are demolishing my troops right now. This is not good. Oh, man. Let me distract them a little bit. Oh, that was more than just a distraction. These force bandits, my god. What is happening right now? What is going on? Um, horsemen, get in there. I need a, I'm sorry, I just need a second to... Nope. Sergeants. Sergeants. These bandits, my god. This is insane. I think I might need to fall back. Bushwhackers. Yeah, my troops just got ate alive there. Good god. I, I think I need to fall back. This isn't worth me um, being captured. Yeah, we're retreating. That is... Uh, that is super bad. I'm gonna... We will get these guys back, but... God, yeah, retreat the party. I'm heading out. Hopefully... Yeah, because it wasn't exactly me that was in that fight. Yeah, we can abandon them. Oh, that's a shame. That guy's gonna really be mad at me now. Um, Like I said, better not go down and lose everything. Let's uh, just get some more troops. <laughs> Let's not talk about what happened there. That was insane. Did you see how many of those bandits there were? And that was like the force bandits, which are like snipers, dude. Like, for real. Like, you don't want to mess with them. Uh, Komar has been captured. Oh no, Komar was with them. Maybe I want to... They got 43 prisoners. I might want to see about chasing those dudes down. Hmm. Okay, my troops have resolved the matter. Did I... Uh... I don't know if it... Yeah, it's totally unclear which one was which. 
I am going to, I think, honestly... Oh! He's he's all in the tavern here. Cool. <laughs> Sorry about that, brother. If I look at him, does he still have his inventory? Because I just am curious, because... Yeah, he does. Oh, I'm over capacity. We lost so many troops that we uh, can't carry all of our stuff. Um, is there anything that I can sell here? I think this is actually um, gonna be quite a bit of profit, but it was from like before this episode. So I am actually making money on these things. It's just not being like calculated in front of us, essentially. I mean, even the grain is pretty valuable here, so I'm actually making a fair amount of money selling that here at that price. On um, the other stuff, not so much. Um, I just uh, kind of wanted to lighten my load, and let's just heal up, honestly. We need to just get the troops uh, back in order. And then I think I might try and just go back and do some trading, maybe go to Pravind and, and make our way back that ways. But we need to get healed up right now. Like, I'm not heading out with half my party hurt. And speaking of hurt... Yeah, I thought that you guys would have some, some troops ready to level up. And we just did get beat up a fair amount. So when that happens, that is something that does happen. Is those that survive it tend to get a little experience. Just something to keep in mind. Oh, you know what we could do also right now? is we do have Komar with us and I don't know if I just want to check we do have uh, a number of companions actually with us right now there's us Komar our wife oh and I actually ha also have Blag with us huh okay so we actually have quite a few companions you know what we can do is we can um, go do a gang fight but before I do that, I just want to make sure that everyone is set up gang fight-wise, because I am pretty sure they don't have good stuff for it. Yeah, like my wife here. <laughs> her gear, I knew, I remembered her gear is just like... It's great for like the soldier stuff, but it's terrible for the civilian armor. So that by itself is pretty good, but I want to get her... Um, um, shoulder pads or something. No, nothing. Okay. Uh, well, that should do for that. Uh, what about weapons? What do I have weapon-wise? I mean, that's okay. What do you guys have? I mean, that's a tier four. This is also a tier four. Okay, well, let's go with that then. Um, and like we were talking about earlier, uh, you can't really do much more than have a sword in these city fights, so... Yeah, we'll be trying to give our guys something um, to give them some protection, but... It's very limited. Sure, we'll do that. And then... I think you're also with, gonna be with us. How is your gear? Um, pretty terrible as well. Trust me, this will be worth it, and it will also um, actually put those on. It will also get our um, us something to do while our troops are healing up, which is kind of a good thing. And it will get us some combat against some kind of trash units, so all in all, it's going to be a good thing. Oh, you need, a, you need something on your head there. This is better than nothing. Cool. Okay, well, let's go ahead. I'm just gonna go to the tavern and then exit out. And you've probably seen me do this so many times. Um, we'll just go get those recruits while we can. I don't know if I did that actually earlier. I'm all healed up 100%. My companions are not, so I need to keep that in mind. But um, if you've seen my tutorials, you'd know what I'm about to do. Is that lady carrying a baby? No, she's not. Okay. Flag. Um, gather all the companions in the city. We have a lot of companions here in the city right now. Um, I think... Now I don't know, but I think this back street here... There's gonna be some boys in there. And I don't think they're gonna be like the back street boys, but they're gonna be some back street boys. 
and let's see how many of them there are. You know, like if there's if there's like maybe like four ish or so, we could definitely easily take them. Oh yeah, we got our two-handed sword here. Oh gosh, this is gonna be. Oh, there's five of them. I mean, that is doable. I'm just kind of curious about the waterfront and the clearing. How many there are in those ones. I'm just going to scout it out. Man, this sword. I can't believe we have a two-handed sword. It is, like, kind of a one-handed sword. Hello, young one. Like, you can do X and, like, do it, like, two-handed like that. Or you can do X and do it, like, one-handed. And it's a lot slower. Um, let's see. We are going to... Or oh, there's the waterfront right there. Let's go to the waterfront first because it looks like it's close to here. It is confusing though with the whole uh, how do you get to places kind of thing. Oh gosh, that waterfront. How do I, I? I'm completely lost. I think that I'm going in circles now. There's the olive press here. Can you go through the olive press? No, you cannot. Man, they are really making me walk to get to this place. I don't think we're going to be coming back here. Let's just say that. Oh, look at that. That is uh, interesting. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That That is pretty dang cool. Do I also have my wife with me? No, she is not. It's just my companions. Okay, well, that's a shame. Uh, there is the waterfront, maybe right there. I think that's the waterfront. <laughs> the clearings over there as well, maybe. Here we go. This looks like this looks like uh, some troublemakers right here. There is actually more dudes there. Okay, so we don't want that. That's the waterfront, the back street. Let's check out the clearing. If the clearing is no good, we'll go back to the back street and we'll just kind of go from the tavern because the tavern was pretty close to it. Like, quick load in and out of the city, you know, because we're like magicians like that. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of them. I mean, it's not that much different. You like that site, Komar? Whatever you're looking at, I don't know what it is, but... Okay, we're going to mess up this thug. And it's good two-handed, right? Yeah, so we're a little bit faster. Okay, cool. This is going to be um this is going to be interesting. I don't know. It doesn't look like I actually have myself that good of armor for this. Uh Okay, let's see. Oh, he actually blocked that. Oh. Oh man, they, they got me. Komar, come on. Oh no, the bandits got us. Oh no. They got us. Okay, that's not good. I should have probably got some better gear for that if I wanted to really try that. Well, it's fine. I'm healing up and my troops are healing up anyways, so. Man, I got crushed outside the gates and then I got crushed in the city, man. This is a humbling episode, I'll tell you that. Thought that we were getting good at this game. <laughs> um, let's see. What about recruits? I am gonna get a few recruits because we need to re replace the numbers that we lost there. Um, let's see. Now, uh, there are some looters out there. That does look like a tasty stack of looters right there for our troops. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and level up our troops. I'm not gonna fight myself because we're we're real banged up, but. Um, this is basically what Redan's going to do, is do a little bit more trading, um, probably. Yeah, because we're a little bit healed up at this point. I think that we could buy some stuff on the cheap here, go trade at other places. God, that fish is so, so dang cheap. Yeah, we're going to buy um, some fish. we got to go sell it some somewhere. In any case, um, we're getting kind of near that point. Uh, we probably want to go sell the fish in somewhere that they don't have fish, so like inland. And that's uh, 
Are you a fish village? No, you're not. Are you... Do you guys have fish villages here? No, it doesn't look like you do. I'm going to go to Provend and see if we can sell the fish there. I got a good feeling that we will be able to. But I could also be totally wrong. Also kind of curious about what's the grain price here. It's not the best. It's not the worst either. Um, and the fish were immediately making a profit there, but... We're not going to be able to sell all of it, is the thing. Yeah. Um, we'll do like that. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to go to the city so that we can do a mass deposit and see what we get um, prices-wise. I think that we, we've made a decent amount of money. Oh, nice. Our, our wife is pregnant. I'm glad that I continued recording for that then. I wasn't sure if the last minute was included, worth including or not, but that was, definitely. Yeah, look at this fish. God, that sells for a good amount. I love having how it changes like that so you know if you're making the profit still or not. Okay, we can sell all of our grapes. Deal. And look at that trade. We're almost at 100, man. Cool, 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 cool. Probably by the time that we're, we start the next episode, we'll be at 100. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.